So this week's job was a 2022 Jayco Melbourne Mercedes chassis Class C motorhome. Customers came to us uh, not wanting to give up a whole lot of space, but let me show you what we accomplished. So our customer needed a little bit more storage capacity for the batteries. Because of the limited space underneath the stairway, we were kind of limited as far as options went to be able to build a system that would also allow him to do anything that he wanted to do in the coach that was going to provide enough power for all of their needs without having to turn on the generator. So in this system, we installed a Husky 2 400 amp hour 12 volt battery. And then we installed a multi plus two standard 12 volt, 3000 volt amp inverter that's going to allow him to power anything in the coach like he were plugged in. This system allows him to run his air conditioner. It's going to allow him to run his microwave or any of the other attachments that he has inside the coach without having to go and start the generator in order to run anything. We also added a 50 amp DC to DC charge controller. It's the Victron uh, XS700 that is going to allow him to get a charge of 700 watts from his alternator. We added 600 watts of solar in the form of three 200 watt panels up onto the roof and then upgraded the solar charge controller to a Victron 150. And all of that is being displayed up here on his touchscreen. This is the new user interface, so you can see exactly what's going on with the coach. Now, the, the coach is currently, the battery is at 100% state of charge. So we just have a little bit of solar coming in to cover the incidentals currently as we speak. But if I were to turn on some of these, some of these lights, I'm sorry. increasing load just a little bit. I can also turn the air conditioner on and you can see as soon as I turn the air conditioner on the fans come on. We're currently pulling 371 watts which means that now we're able to to start using more of the solar and so solar is now bringing in 444 watts covering all the usage for the fan. So up until this point until the compressor kicks in we're not using any DC power. It's all being covered by the solar. Now that the compressor is kicked in, the system does have an easy start on it. Uh, so the ramp in for the, the power usage is, is pretty gentle going into it, but we have the AC is currently using about uh, or just under 1100 watts of power. So uh, 1060, 1070 um, as far as the, the usage for the power. We're still bringing in 434 watts from the sun. So realistically, uh, when you break it down, you have 600 watts coming from the battery bank, and then the rest is, is being regenerated through the solar. If you were to sit down and break it down, you have 5,000 watt hours of capability of storage in your battery bank. If you're pulling it at 600 watts, that's going to allow you to basically run the air conditioner continuous for roughly, uh, it, it's going to be about seven hours. So this is a fairly small coach. The inverter is going to carry the load for the air conditioner. The air conditioner is going to cycle on and off once the temperature is reached, once it's cooled down in here. Uh, the air conditioner is going to cycle on and off and everything is going to be fine. But you can see that the system is going to be able to manage the power usage, even for the air conditioner, without any issues. So the new Victron XS700 has the ability to communicate with the Victron system. So it's showing you specifically what kind of power the, X, the XS is feeding into your system. So you can see that we are currently bringing in 667 watts with the engine just at an idle. So when it comes down to it, 
you're offsetting quite a bit of power into the battery bank. Um, so between the two of them, you're almost carrying your, your AC load. So the system works really well. They do have the, the generator on board, which is also coming with the capability to be able to charge your battery bank at another 120 amps. So when you combine all of them together, you can get upwards of, of 170 amps going into your battery if you're needing to charge it in a hurry. So this is what you can do with the, the system. So if you guys, if, if anyone else wants to build a like system or looking to have us build a like system, reach out to us, Panels Up Solar here in Laurel, Mississippi, 228-363-9121.